Tosa um, probably for the past 15, 20 years and um, went through the test um, treatment. I've noticed um, visual acuity has improved. Um, the colors seem a little bit more vibrant and um, just reading things has seemed a little bit easier. I've been treated by Dr. Rosenfarb with acupuncture um, for the past two years and I've definitely noticed an improvement in terms of um, even part of my visual field, seeing things above and um, just again visual acuity and maintaining the sight um, that, I, that I've had previously so I haven't felt that there's been any um, digression of, of sight. So it's been, I feel it's been very helpful. My and name is Judy, I'm from Florida, <clears throat> and my condition uh, is that I have uh, macular degeneration and also cataracts. And I found Dr. Andy online and uh, have been taking acupuncture for a while and have seen improvement in <clears throat> both eyes in the near vision. And uh, <clears throat> uh, then he, asked me if I'd like to be in this test study, and which I absolutely did. And uh, I've been taking it for two weeks, and the right eye has improved. And um, I was just sitting in the um, lobby waiting to do this, and my eye focused into a sign that I hadn't read without my glasses. So I have seen improvement, and um, I think this study is really a great. Uh, my name is Danielle. Um, I'm 27. I have um, optic nerve damage uh, from a car accident that was in 2009. Um, I, my participation in this trial, I have seen results. Um, my vision seems much clearer. Um, I have a couple blind spots that seem to be improving. Um, I'm very grateful to be a part of the trial and I'm glad that Dr. Rosenfarm is doing this because I believe in this treatment because it does, it has helped me. My name is uh, Jeff Eberly and I have retinitis pigmentosa. Um, it's in the advanced uh, stage. Um, I was diagnosed um, formally in 1994 and um, there's been a gradual decline. It was obviously existing before then but since then as well. Um, and I've been with Dr. Rosenfarb for about five or six years. Um, with regard to the instant study, which is the um, electric filament um, laying on my eyes, I've definitely noticed an improvement. Um, uh, there wasn't any major discomfort associated with the treatment, and I would, insofar as I'm concerned, I'm going to continue with the therapy. Uh, I should be back in a month. Um, best of luck to you, and I hope you find some improvement uh, treating with Dr. Rosenberg. Right, my name is Holly Lingle, and I did the TES study, and um, I have retinitis pigmentosa. So um, it was a good experience coming here for me. The, uh, the treatments are very different, but uh, I found that there was a lot of improvement in my sharpness. Um, my visual field, I think, improved quite a bit. Uh, in one of my eyes that was the worst eye, so I'm seeing good improvements, and uh, hopefully if it continues, I'll continue those improvements, but other than that, I'm just excited to see where this goes, and I look forward to more future endeavors. I'm Carol Carraga. I was diagnosed with uh, retinitis pigmentosa 18 years ago, and about uh, two years ago, I started doing some acupuncture for treatment. I was selected to be part of the test study, which I just concluded. Um, the, the study itself, it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable having something in your eye, but not horrible. Was, and then someone with RP knows you've had a lot of eye testing, so as things go, this one's easy. But um, did see at the end of it that there was a little more uh, definition even early on in terms of seeing some shadow, which was a great improvement, and um, a little more on the visual acuity. and. Uh, hopeful for what the results will bring as we look for a cure. I'm Monica Pinto and I have a, a Fuchs corneal dystrophy. Um, I think it was diagnosed about eight years ago and at the time the optometrist said I wouldn't have to worry about it. I probably wouldn't even notice anything about you know any side of, any symptoms of it until I was much older and then when I went back like two or three years later he said 
it had progressed and he recommended I go see a corneal specialist. So, and I heard about this study um, and I'd heard about um, Andy and the work he was doing. I was interested in learning more about it and doing the study if I could get into it and also um, his other protocol to try to stop the progression of the Fuchs. Um, with Fuchs you get sort of a foggy vision that looks like a steamed up bathroom that you can't clear your um, your vision. Um, so painless. The only thing I noticed the first couple treatments was um, a little bit of pressure in the sort of forehead area. Um, but um, Andy said that was just sort of the blood getting circulating into that area. But you don't feel anything while you're actually laying there having it done. Um, it's been a good experience so far. So far. The staff here is wonderful. Andy is wonderful. And um, I highly recommend coming here if you have any kind of eye conditions. Sure, but sometimes I feel like when I'm reading, um, things may appear a little clearer, sharper, the lettering. Um, I didn't know, like I kind of noticed that the first couple days and I wasn't totally 100% sure if that was maybe just wanting that to be true or if it was true, but it seems like um, sometimes in my reading it looks, it looks a little sharper. My name is Terrence and I've been diagnosed for RP, which stands for retinitis pigmentosis. Um, the study here with Dr. Andy Rosenfarb has been truly remarkable, and I have tr seen some tremendous results even as of last night. Like last night, I was looking out the corner of my eyes, and I seen two of the lights on the light pole, and it was quite amazing to me. And I know that on a daily basis, it gets better and better on a daily basis. So I'm just looking forward for better results day by day, and I will highly recommend anybody to come and see Dr. Andy Rosenfarb. And I am from uh, Macedonia, that is the little country in the Europe. And I have an uh, eye condition with uh, diagnosed with uh, RP, retinitis pigmentosa, and cystoid macular edema. And uh, I learned for this clinic uh, from the internet. And I come here to make a study for a test study. And uh, I feel very good. The study is good, the treatment is uh, very good, it's not pain, <laughs> it's everything okay and I uh, feel an improvement with uh, my uh, C in the dark, little, and I have an uh, improvement with the uh, sharpness, the colors, and that's it's okay, I think it's the good. Hi, my name is Melda Taylor. And I am 58 years old and was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa uh, since I was 16. So I was so enthusiastic when I heard about the TES, the Transforming Electrical Stimulation Study, that Dr. Andy wanted to try that had been done in other countries but never in the U.S. So I did a little reading on some of the results and applied to participate in the study and was so grateful that I was chosen. I am an acupuncture patient, have been coming here for three years, and I know I've gotten good results in the acupuncture, so I was enthusiastic to find out just how the TES would work. So a little apprehensive because I knew that something had to go inside of the eyes, and um, but with the soothing environment that's here at the acupuncture center, it was easy to relax and to um, trust <laughs> uh, that Dr. Andy, of course, would um, make everything uh, less invasive as possible. So it felt like um, something was in your eye, maybe an eyelash, whereby I think the wire ring had to go across, actually inside of the, um, your, your eye. And so it did feel like you just wanted to you know, go in and pluck the hair out your eye, but you have to be still for 30 minutes and just lie there and let it do its thing. Um, sometimes I did feel the little electrical sensation in each eye, never at the same time, and it went away. Uh, if I switched or moved, I could feel it a little. But to me, that was okay because I kind of felt like it was working if I felt it. Um, so that was it. It was 30 minutes of just lying there and being as relaxed as possible um, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and for a two-week period. And um, I'm very encouraged. Some of the 
things I notice differently is with my peripheral vision, and I sometimes think it's an optical illusion, but I'm seeing things that outside of my periphery that I have not seen before. Um, so I noticed that more and more during the course of the uh, treatment, and I think I had to just trust myself and trust my brain that maybe something was really going on positively. So I'm inspired, I'm encouraged, and, and perhaps this is something that can be added to, to my treatment um, plan as well as other folks that have um, eye conditions. So if you're thinking about it, don't hesitate because it is just Hi, it. my name is Ray Garski. I've been coming to Dr. Andy now. I think this is my fourth time. I've had the standard acupuncture that he uh, gives out for treatment. And this was a study for the TES, Transocular Electrical Stimulation. Um, I was honored to, for this study to, to give it a try. Um, that was here for two weeks. There was uh, six treatments, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then the following Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it takes about a half hour. Um, painless. Um, it, it, it's, it's, I think it seemed to help a little bit as far as making the acuity better. Um, like I say, it, it, you just lay on the table and you just let the electrical impulses do its thing. You just feel like a little itching. Um, it's not painful at all.